January 25, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know is the heart of God the Father. He says, in order for this nation as a whole to repent, each soul needs to be convicted of where he stands before me. This is the salvific truth that is needed to save this nation. This is the truth that is needed for the heart of this nation to embrace repentance. Each soul needs to open to this truth, a truth not found in ambition or disordered self-love. Begin by forgiving everyone. Hold no grudges in your hearts. A grudge is a form of self-love, not of righteousness. Be willing to allow me to take dominion over your hearts, your lives and the world around you. Do not embrace any achievement as something you did on your own, but always give thanks to my provision. Trust in my will for you, which always protects and provides whatever you need towards your own salvation. Repentance needs to take root in each heart in order for the heart of the world to repent. Read Hebrews 3:12 to 13. Take care, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil, unbelieving heart, leading you to fall away from the living God. But exhort one another every day, as long as it is called today, that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. Read Psalm 1 1 to 6. The two ways. Blessed is the man who walks, not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous, for the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish.